Jared and a small team of engineers and scientists assemble an unassuming piece of equipment. All right, there we go again, huh? They claim that this metal cone will somehow bore a hole without any digging or grinding. They call it the flame jet drill. The drill was first conceived over 30 years ago by Jared's father, Robert Potter, a pioneer in geothermal science at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in the 1970s. Now, Jared has completed several prototypes designed to put the technology to its ultimate test. If the flame jet drill succeeds, it could be the holy grail for geothermal technology and one of the keys to lessening our dependence on fossil fuels. This technology could drill as fast as 100 feet an hour, we believe, uh, 10 times faster than conventional drilling. And since you're not contacting the rock, you're not wearing out the bit. However, Potter must first prove his prototype works. Everything is in place for the test. Hydrogen gas feeds into the drill head. Once lit, it must reach 1800 degrees Celsius, hotter than lava. A barely visible, high velocity flame shoots out of the drill tip, superheating the block of granite. Soon, tiny rock fragments begin flying off into the air. The intense flame causes flaws in the mineral structure to break down. The test is complete. The entrance of the hole is about four inches, a little under four inches, and the hole itself now is about um, nearly 10 inches deep. And we drilled that in about three minutes. The prototype achieved its primary goal, to pass quickly through rock. However, Potter must also prove that the flame jet technology works in the wet, high pressure environment inside a deep well. That's where this machine comes in. It's another prototype called a hydrothermal drill that simulates the wet, high pressurized conditions of the most hostile subterranean environment. The hydrothermal drill should allow us to drill the depths of 30 to 40, 50, even 50,000 feet by 12 inches in diameter. <laughs> Sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? Okay, Jim. Let's see, go ahead and give us some juice there. Igniting. The bit on the hydrothermal drill is a 4,000 degrees Celsius flame. But unlike a conventional drill, it never touches rock. Instead, the flame superheats a jet of water and it fragments the rock. It also flushes the fragments out of the area. Potter pulls out the small granite sample to check the results. The drill succeeded in making a perfect borehole. Once Potter tests the drill on a rig designed for it, his invention could go to market. Yeah. It's still got quite a ways to go. I don't think we're, we're quite there. If they succeed, wells could be drilled faster, cheaper, and deeper, and geothermal plants could be built almost anywhere on the planet. However, until a working flame drill appears, the drilling industry will continue to slowly grind away. I don't think drilling deep holes is a pipe dream, but more importantly, it's still in the research phase and yet to be proven commercial. 